the Sasgavati and Lenin, um, who are very thankful to the Oxford Center for Hinduism for giving us this opportunity. Uh, so the documentation of events in the media of stone and metal can be found in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, as in many states of India. The memorial stones provide abundant information about the social and cultural practices of their period, giving us information on the psychological attitudes and the belief systems of the people, along with the social identity which was attributed to the hero because of his heroic deed. Viragallu, as the name suggests, is a memorial stone to commemorate the death of a hero in the battle or a fight while hunting, while fighting with the thieves, death while protecting the chastity of women, boundary disputes, village raids, death while hunting wild hawks or tigers during cattle raids, death in the battle on behalf of their kings. In the earlier medieval times, it was the king who was responsible for the protection of the life and the property of the subjects, but to translate such an idea, the Dushta Nirgraha and the Shishta Paripalana, he depended not only on his subordinates, the Samantas, but also his subjects, the Praja. Every able-bodied individual, a hero or a chieftain or a soldier was expected to protect the society even at the cost of their lives. Dedicates, dedicated servants also ended their lives either to prove their loyalty to the master or to fulfill a vow. Society in turn recognized the service, admired the courage and in contribution, and took upon itself the responsibility of providing for the family of the dead of the hero. People appreciated the valor of the heroes by erecting stones in their memory and donating lands, which were known as Raktamanya or Rakta Koduge. The hero or the Veera was assured of fame and gain in this world and a place in heaven. The assurance of spiritual, social, economic gains appears to have emboldened these soldiers to embrace death on the battlefield without anxiety. The hero shall enjoy the earth. Veera Bhogya Vasundara was the declared goal, which was celebrated through the Virgals. The word Virgal or hero stones are referred as Virakal in Tamil, Viragallu in Kannada, Virakallu in Telugu, Viragal in Marathi. In other regions of the country, terms like Chaya Stamba, Kamba, and the Paluya also refer to the hero stones. In Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, the hero cult was a very widespread belief. From the 3rd century AD to the 16th century AD, erecting of these memorial stones for the dead warriors became a very important part of the hero worship. I just wanted uh, to understand the structure of the virgul. A hero stone or a virgul is made up of a single, three or five horizontal panels found on the front side with the other sides being ruled. Apart from the single slided slabs, as we see in this figure, square pillows with engravings on all four sides have also been discovered. The stales may be of the same width on top and bottom and taper towards with a frame that separates one scene from another. The panels, which are often designed to be viewed from the bottom, depict the physical and spiritual growth of the hero as he hustles the heaven after defecting the many adversities that cost him his life. The depiction of the hero is very interesting and artistic. His attire consists of a lowered garment, which is generally a dhoti, and he is adorned with armlets, the bracelets, and wears the sacred thread, which is the ignopavita. He also wears the belt with a sheathed dagger, and his hair is always depicted as tied in a bun. The hero is depicted as accompanied by enemies and apsaras in general, surrounded by a procession of figures like the musicians, or shown carried on a palanquin, protected by a parasol alone or with his wife, who has performed sati. In few cases, the horizontal panels are vertically split into two halves, the content replicating each other. The depiction of the same episode twice indicates the honoring of two heroes on one steel. Symbols such as sun, moon are represented. Single panel stones have the entire scene represented without a distinction or a frame in between. And memorial stones were grouped, are grouped into five broad groups based on the purpose for which they were erected. The first one is the battlefield, then we have the cattle raid, we have self-immolation stones, the sati stones, and also the Hanuman hunting stones. 
So these categories usually reflect the feudal system that existed during the medieval period and the social identity which was created for these heroes. Now let's take a, uh, let's take a look at the weirdables uh, which were dedicated to the heroes who lost their lives in the battlefield. So in case of the battlefield types of hero stones, they are placed as a sign of the subordinate's fulfillment of responsibilities in response to the chief's offering of protection and compensation to the families to the concerned soldiers who were dead or living on one hand. Several inscriptional hero stones are found in various parts of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana under this category. So the next one, which is called as Thurugol, are the vehicles or the memorial stones which were dedicated for cattle trade. The agrarian nature of the medieval economy is also reflected in the cattle trade category of hero stones. Cattle trading and dairy farming were just as essential as agriculture and every village had one or more communal cohorts who drove the cattle to the common pasture. Cattle were regarded as valuable assets. As a result, it became a source of temptation for the neighboring villagers. Those who died fighting earned the status of heroes worthy of reverence. Then we've got virgals or the self emolution stones, which grew in tandem with the spread of the Shaivite theology. As Shaivite theology gained popularity, several sects within the Shaiva faith emerged. Surprisingly, the militant sects with the Tandric overtones, such as the Kapalika, the Kalamuka, the Pashupata, and the Virashaiva, appeared only during the period when the feudal mode of production was dominant in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Self immolation was practiced by the Virabhattas and the Virabhushtis. Typically, memorial stones can be found on the outskirts of villages in some places, such as the village boundaries. We find one or two memorial stones, whereas in others, we also see them in groups. So these are the stones uh, which are dedicated uh, when the wife performs this sati uh, after the dead husband. And these are the stones which are dedicated uh, for the animal fighting. So uh, this, this particular uh, paper is a par part of our project. It was a government funded project that we are working on. And through the field work, we could get and understand the hero stones that are found in Andhra Pradesh as well as Telangana. Telangana. So uh, the, first, the first example that I would want to present is from uh, Mopuru Bhairavishwara Swami Temple, which is at the Nalacharuva Palle, uh, which is a village which is, which is located on the Pulivendula Ramarede Palle Road on the right banks of Mogameru. So this particular temple houses a series of wearables which are protected and placed on an elevated land and worshipped by people. And uh, this particular, uh, let me just start uh, describing or giving a stylistic analysis of the wearables that are shown in the slide. So the first one is a single parlant wearable or the wearable or the hero stone which is rectangular in shape. So in the entire panel, we see that the hero is attractively rendered who is mounted on a horse. The upper portion of the steel is mutilated Animal figurines are crudely delineated. The mounted hero is shown in a frontal attitude and his physique demonstrates his might. His left hand is gripping the reins of the galloping horse while his right arm is holding the weapon. His upper torso is exposed and he wears a lower garment. His waist belt is pierced by a dagger. In addition to the kundalas he wears, he also is wearing a hara, which is a short necklace, and his hair is pulled back into a bun. The presence of an animal in the lower portion of the hero stone impl implicates that it is dedicated to a hero who has given up his life and mostly falls under the category of animal fighting. The second hero here is also a single panel wearable, which is rectangular in shape and which is from the same temple. The hero, as usual, is portrayed in the frontal position, wearing hara, harmlets, or the kundulas, and only his right foot is embellished with an anklet. His upper body is bare and his lower half is draped in a very fashionable knot. This is the knot that I'm talking about. His hair is pulled back like all the heroes that we see in the Virigals. Both his hands are holding the swords, which is piercing into the neck. And this particular sword, um, according to our uh, literature review that we have conducted or the books that we have read, is named as the Gandagatera. So this particular stone is attributed to the self-immolation type. The third Viro, again, a single panel rectangular Virbal is uh, showing the Vira in a very frontal position. 
upper body as usual is bare lower half is covered and we also all the time see a stylish piece of cloth which is dangling from his body his hair again is pulled back to the right side into a tight bun he wields a sword in his right hand and his left hand dangles down the thumb resting on his knees now let me just take you to another example that we found out during our field work it is from the vaidyanatheshwara temple from pushpagiri uh, which is a trikuteshwara temple built by the cholas on the west bank of the pana river so uh, people said that many virgals were procured from in and around the region and have been preserved inside the temple so the first one like as i said uh, among the different types the three tiered is a uh, few of uh, the virgals that we could find from our field work so three tiered rectangular in shape curved at the bottom the hero is represented as mounted on a horse in the lower panel he has a long spear in his left hand ready to point at the opponent and he holds the reins of the horse in his right hand the opponent on foot is likewise wielding a spear you can see her and uh, the hero here is being carried by the apsaras and uh, the apsaras all the time they hold the fly whisks and uh, in the last panel you can see that the hero is worshiping the shivalanga and uh, a lamp is also seen on the upper panel now let me just uh, um, try to understand the second virgal again which is a three tiered rectangular panel so the portrayal of the hero is given substantial space in the lower part the hero is riding on a galloping horse and wields a little sword in his right hand while managing the horse with his left hand the opponent is represented lying on the ground you can see the opponent who is already dead then uh, here we can see that the hero is being carried to the heaven by the celestial damsels in the center panel then the placement of the two lamps over here is a very distinctive feature uh, of this panel and uh, the representation of the lamp as a characteristic uh, we could not find uh, in any other virgals that uh, we have done our field work on and as usual the last panel we can see that the hero is worshiping the shivalinga in the upper portion and uh, yeah uh, of course uh, if we take a look at the sculpture he is always you know seated in the padmasana and uh, with folded hands uh, worshiping the shivalinga so um, now we have um, the virgals uh, from the state archaeological museum from telangana and uh, which is the oldest one in hyderabad and has got exquisite artifacts and antiques so few virgals which are associated with the religious beliefs are considered for stylistic analysis and uh, during the reign of the kakatiyas has fully developed a uh, hero cult uh, can be witnessed and uh, the shaiva sects had royal sponsorship during this time and people were more dedicated to the shiva worship so veera shaivism as we all know has incorporated self sacrifice into its beliefs so let me start describing the first virgal which depicts a hero who is severing his throat with a sharp sword so the hero is represented on a larger scale in a single panel um steel or with the upper portion sculpted with the apsaras and a palanquin you can see the apsaras and the palanquin being awaiting to carry the dead body of the hero to the veera swarga and uh, you can see that the hero is adorned with the hara the kundala the armlet the bracelet and he wears the agno agno kavita and his hair is styled in a bun tied with ribbons his hand right hand is holding the sword and his left hand is holding an object so the next one the second virgal also falls under the same category depicted the hero here is depicted slashing his throat with a sharp sword and um, he also is adorned with the same kind of an ornament as the first hero and here we can see the representation of the sun as well as the moon and the third virgal consists again of a single steel depicting the veera and a pair of apsaras the veera the hero here you can see has slashed his stomach and the body is divided into two halves with the intestine protruding from the body you can see the intestine that has been stylistically depicted by of uh, the sculptor uh, again he is adorned uh, with a lot of jewelry and his right hand is seen brandishing a sword uh, which is cut as belly and um, with his left hand he claps an object mostly it is a shivalinga so the virgal has the uh, you can see that it gives us the appearance of an animated character 
and uh, one must admire the artistic skill in creating it. So probably these are the self emulation stones uh, from Telangana. To conclude, I would want to say that the presence of many hero stones in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, as well as the nearly universal depiction of the warlike circumstances on them, reflect the socio cultural context of the period. From 10th and 11th centuries, this practice of erecting, the hon uh, erecting and honoring uh, these monuments to the valor of the dead grew widespread. And uh, the warlike aspect is reflected in steels that glory glorify devotional heroism, which is linked to a vow or a self sacrifice. The same content is reflected in the manner in which martial heroism is depicted. So these memorial stones or the vehicles were erected as a mark of respect and admiration for the hero who died in the service of a noble cause. It is also believed that the purpose of erecting a hero stone was to make the world aware of the heroism of that person and attain the Shivaloka where eternal glory is reserved for the hero. The memorial stones of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana have a lot of anthropological, social, historical, and cultural significance, throwing light on the various aspects of the society which prevailed during those times. In Indian eyes, it is the highest form of commemoration imaginable with complete religious sanctity, the highest spiritual position imaginable for a dead soul is effortlessly granted to such fighters and created a social identity for them. And what could be done more to honor the virus, the heroes or the virus than installing a vehicle? Thank you.